Assalamu alaikum. Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. We have been so busy recently. I've been traveling a lot. Hande has been in a resort called Digali. We will do a video of this resort soon. So we're so happy to be here today. And today we're going to film lesson 39. This lesson is going to be a little bit different. It's not going to be a language lesson. It's going to be more of a lesson about the Maldives and the atolls here. We're going to teach you about all the atolls in the Maldives and let you know a little bit about them. So let's dive in. Let's dive in. So right at the north of the Maldives, as you can see on the map next to us, we have Ha Alifu Atoll. Tiladumati. Tiladumati. Uturuburi. Uturuburi. So Ha Alifu Atoll is the name that's commonly used when you're talking about the atoll, but the more um, official, way. official name of the atoll in the Maldives is Tiladumati Uturuburi. Tiladumati Uturuburi. <laughs> so this atoll would be amazing for diving because the dive sites are really pristine and untouched there. Then just below we have Ha Dalu Atoll. Tiradu mati. Tiradu mati. Dekunu buri. Dekunu buri. Buri. Tiladu mati. Tiladu mati. Dekunu buri. Dekunu buri. Hadalu atoll has Hanimadu, which is um, the airport island there, and we have a beautiful guest house there called Barefoot Eco Lodge, which is really nice if you're looking for a peaceful nature holiday. It's really, really a special place to go. Okay, moving south, we have Shaviani Atoll. Miladu <laughs> Madulu. Again. Miladu Madulu. Miladu Madulu. Uturuburi. Uturuburi. Miladu. Miladu Madulu. Uturuburi. Miladu Madulu. Uturuburi. Miladu Madulu. Miladu Madulu. Miladu Madulu. Uturuburi. Uturuburi. Okay. Then we have Nunu Atoll. Miladu Madulu. Miladu Madulu. Miladu Madulu. Midalu Madulu. Dekonoburi. Dekonoburi. That's a Nunu Atoll. Yeah. Many resorts are there. Then moving forward to Ra Atoll, where we are currently. We're currently in Digali Resort in Ra Atoll. Malus Madulu. Malus Madulu. Uturuburi. Uturuburi. Ra Atoll. Then just south of here. We have Ba Atoll. Malus Madulu. Malus Madulu. Dekonoburi. Dekonoburi. So Ba Atoll, as you might know already, is super famous for the UNESCO World Heritage Site of Hanifaru Bay. This is where you can see hundreds of manta rays gathering because of the abundance of plankton in the sea. So from May to November time, that's the season where, it's manta season in Hanifaru Bay, and that's where you can witness this spectacular phenomenon of mantas gathering in the sea, and it's really something so beautiful. We've seen manta rays, but we've never seen the, that, much. that many manta rays, so we are yet to visit Hanifaru Bay and share that experience with you. Love then, you. just next to Ba Atoll, to the east, we have Laviani Atoll. Fa di Polo. Fa di Polo Atoll. Fa di Polo. Fa di Polo. Mm. Laviani is also great for diving. Uh, Fushifaru is there. Um, Kanahura, Kuredu. A lot of resorts also are there. Then, south of Laviani, we have Kafu Atoll, which is. Male at all. Male, yeah. So this is where we live. Male, it's the hub of the Maldives. Everything Central of Maldives. Yeah. It's the center, it's the hub. Everything happens in Male. It's the city. That's where you get all the flight connections and it Male literally connects all of the Maldives. So Male is the hub. And in Male also you can find many resorts, local islands that are very accessible you know, only like 15 minutes speedboat from Mali, which is, if you're, if you don't want to take a seaplane, then you can just take a speedboat from Mali to reach the resort, it's super easy, mm -hmm. and usually it's more affordable too. 
Just south of Mali Atoll, we have Alif Alif Atoll. Ari Atoll. Ari Atoll. Uturuburi. Uturuburi. This is also known as North Ari Atoll to make it easier. And then just south of that, we have South Ari Atoll, which is known as Alif Dalu Atoll. Ari Atoll. Dekonuburi. Ari Atoll. Dekonuburi. So South Ariatol, as you might know already, is famous for the whale sharks all year round. You can spot whale sharks there. And it's a beautiful atoll. We've been there several times. We've stayed at Lux South, which is really beautiful. And um, Digura. Yeah, Digura, Constance Morfushi, really beautiful resorts and islands are there. And of course, if you want to snorkel with whale sharks, then it's the place to go. And it's only like a 25 minute seaplane mm -hmm. from Male, so very quick. And by the speedboat, it's one hour. Yeah, yeah. So very good. East of Ari, the Ari Atolls, we have Vavo Atoll. Felide Atoll. Felide Atoll. Mm. This atoll is famous for the shipwreck, mm. Keodu shipwreck, and the nurse sharks. I'm sure you may have seen some photos of this area. It's really, really beautiful. Mimu Atoll is next. Mm, Mulako Atoll. Hmm? Mulako. Mulako Atoll. Mulako Atoll. Mm. Mimu Atoll. Then west of Mimu, we have Fafu Atoll. Nilandu Atoll. Nilandu Atoll. Uturuburi. Uturuburi. Then south of Fafu, we have Dalu Atoll. Dalu Atoll. Dalu Atoll is Nilandu Atoll. Nilandu Atoll. Dekonobori. Dekonobori. This is where Sansiam Vilu Reef is, a really beautiful little resort. And uh, other famous resorts are there, like the St. Regis. Then we have the atoll where Hambe is originally from. But never been. But has never been. <laughs> His family is from there. Yeah. So that's Ta Atoll. Kolumadulu. Kolumadulu. Atoll. Atoll. Kolumadulu Atoll. South of Ta, we have the famous Lamu Atoll. Haddumati. Haddumati. Atoll. Atoll. Haddumati Atoll. Lamu Atoll is super unique because it's uh, the islands are very big there and they're connected with a road. One of the uh, other atolls apart from Male and Addu that has a road, a proper road that connects islands. And it's great for surfing and diving and really beautiful atoll. Gafu Alif Atoll. Huvadu Atoll. Huvadu Atoll. Uturuburi. Uturuburi. And Gafu Dalu Atoll. Atoll. <laughs> then Gafu Dalu Atoll. <laughs> Uvadu atolu de Konoburi. Uvadu atolu de Konoburi. Gafta wadu. I have been there for, I guess, four to five years. It's a really beautiful atoll, island. A um, lot of uh, sandbanks, uninhabited islands. Very That's the place to be. Very beautiful and natural, authentic Maldives. Yeah. Yeah. Then south of that we have. Naviani Atoll. Uh, formula. Formula. So this place, this Not atoll. Formula. Formula, which is known as Naviani Atoll. So this place is famous for mm, tiger, tiger sharks. Tiger sharks. No, they have. Tiger sharks. No, they have. Time to go there. Yeah, it's a great place for divers. If you're a thrill-seeking diver and you want to dive with sharks then go to Naviani Atoll and uh, you'll find many sharks there. They mm, have the not shark. been, if you're afraid then it's good to know that there have not been any recorded shark attacks, shark attacks, shark attacks in, yeah. in Maldives. <laughs> so yeah that's always good to know and the dive centers there are paddy certified obviously they're paddy operated so they have certified diving instructors mm -hmm. and they know what they're doing so mm -hmm. in case you have a doubt don't have don't be scared because you know they're professionals and they know what they're doing and on top of it it's the most biggest island 
in Maldives. In Maldives. One atoll, one island. Ah, one atoll, one island. So the whole island is, is the one atoll. atoll. Yeah. Then, to finish off, the most southern point of the Maldives is Sino Atoll. Addo Atoll. Which is Addo Atoll. We have a guest in Addo Atoll right now and it's a really beautiful place to be. It's the most southern point. It takes about an hour and a half to reach there on a domestic flight. Mm, yeah, there you, the, the only option is go by a boat, which takes two days. <laughs> Oh, the other option is take a domestic flight. <laughs> domestic flight, one, like and, one, a half. one and a half hours. So. Yeah, yeah. In the most southern point of the Maldives, so that's quite cool. And that's also where the British invaded. Where yeah. she invaded. The British took control of Adu for a few years. Details I will write above because I'm not sure. I can't remember off the top of my head. But so also the infrastructure there, it's quite developed. Um, because so, British did that. Because the British were there for some time. So that's all for this video. So in total there are actually 26 atolls in the Maldives, but there are 20 administrative atolls. Those are the 20 that we just went through. We hope that this has given you a better idea of maybe which atolls to visit. We, and you'll be showing the map as well. Yeah, we have the map and uh, we also need to visit all the atolls ourselves. That's actually you know, one of our goals. Your um, goals. Well, you've, you've visited, he, Hanbei has already visited all the atolls, but I really want to visit all, all the atolls. So maybe by 2022, all, yeah. <laughs> all the atolls. I have visited one, like all the islands, um, I would say, including um, uninhabited islands. I have been in Garth Dal at all. Yeah, go I down mean, all, like, yeah. in every single every island you visited. <laughs> so yeah, we hope you enjoyed this lesson. Bye.